Uh, I've been a Malibu ed educator and platform artist for almost 13 years of my 14 year career. Uh, I've been an Olaplex advocate uh, for three years, I believe this is my third year. And I'm also a regional brand educator and director for a company called Active Hair Science. So uh, my spectrum is super broad. But what I'm bringing to you guys today is gonna be a quick seven foil highlight. You can place it anywhere for whatever pop color you're trying to design or any type of just ultra blonding you're doing. But before I get into all that, I got a couple things I wanna get off my chest. First off, I wanna say thank you and happy birthday to Olaplex and all of you. I believe that we wouldn't be where we're at 100% without the support of all of you guys in the industry, all of the stylists that are just pumping Olaplex products into people's hair and keeping the health and maintaining the integrity of the hair. It is my favorite part about this brand. One of the best things about it, I believe, is how you can push the hair a little further and you can watch the hair and understand the hair a little more with Olaplex. And I think that's a huge, huge boost for any stylist's career. But uh, let's see, my notes, my notes, my notes. So yes, happy birthday to Olaplex. I'm so excited and so happy to be a part of this team. Uh, getting into it all, what I wanna talk about is the seven foils or less highlight. It's a great spring highlight, it's an amazing summer highlight. It's an amazing scenario that you can put yourself in to increase your average ticket. I believe that's what I put in my little tag and notes. Hopefully everybody can hear me good. There's Jennifer. So let's talk seven foils. The reason I say seven foils or less is you can cover a lot of ground with about five to six and then two little extras, or you can cover seven all the way down the middle. If someone is wanting like a little, let me spin you back. If someone is wanting like a little, a little pop color in the back, you can see I've got her sectioned off into a diamond of her hairline. And what that's gonna do is we're just gonna go piece to piece and I'm gonna show you, but say you've got somebody who's never had color before or their uh, daughter is wanting some purple, but you know you have to lighten the hair. This is an easy way to cover a lot of ground without having to use a lot of product, a lot of time. And it's an amazing intro for someone as well who's wanting some dimension, wanting to just get a little highlight, little kiss of color on top. But it's all about the sectioning and the planning that you do for this seven foils. And I wanna to try to get through my products that I'm gonna be using today. All the things I'm gonna be using today, which I'll be talking about later on, is our number four and our number five liters. As well as, obviously, with my little two ounces or less with Olaplex, I'm only going to be putting a sixteenth of Olaplex in my lightener and in my developer mixed. Also finishing at the bowl with number two from Olaplex. And I might do, with my five, four and five liters, I might dab a little bit in this number four and mix these two because she's super blonde and super porous. I don't want it to grab any color. I don't need to tone her. All I need to do is give her a little bit of that lavender look so it'll kill any golds or any tones that are in the way. Let me see it. Check in. I love Olaplex and I love the way my colors and highlights come out with them. Absolutely. Who doesn't love Olaplex? So, lean forward for me, Emma. I'm going to try to uh, show everybody what this is going to do. Let's see if I can pick it up. Switch it. So you can see she's got a lot of dark shadow kind of throughout and in between. We're going to fill these in and we're going to cover this in a very cool zigzag pattern. But when I show you, it's going to be corner to corner. As well as if I have time, I'm going to show you how to add some in the back as well to cover in some of those dark areas. But it's all about sectioning. Hey, Brittany, how are you? So let's get it. Mixing two and two, two ounces and two ounces. We haven't got our Olaplex in it yet. So where is everybody from? Put your uh, city and state in the uh, comments real quick. The smell of Olaplex, my fave, one of my faves. Hey Doris, where are you from? I love learning a quick new technique, Jennifer. This is like my favorite one. What happens is, is a lot of times people have gone to a, a stylist before 
and they've been like, I don't want to sit in the chair for seven hours. But I want a little highlight. You know, I want to be here all day, all the things. This is so quick and so easy. And I know that uh, stylists all the way from chain salons, uh, all the way to individual owners, all the way to people who rent suites, there's always a need for an increased average ticket. The more money you bring home, the more money and things you can buy and all that. But uh, what we're going to do with this particular in the front is we're going to take a wide section across, of her, across her part. We're going to say it's about three and a half to four inches wide. Lean back just a little. And we're just going to surround that part about a half an inch on each side. We're going to go right into the middle. Catching hair from back there. And this is going to be my burst highlight. What this is going to do, you can see when I pull it up, you can see her shadow kind of in there. And we're going to cover all that as much ground as we can. But let me clip this up and out of the way. And I want to show you how I'm going to do it on the sides as well. If you were to do something where someone wanted some peekaboo panels, you could easily take the same sectioning, which I'll clip off here in a second and start applying. But you're going to go in diagonal away from the face. You're gonna cover that and come back again too. So I'll show you guys those as well. Not to get too ahead of myself. But I believe the consultation is key. If your service only takes a few minutes, your consultation, that looks terrible. Your consultation should never last longer than 15 minutes on any color consultation, any chemical, any haircut. And I know I've got some people down here that can vouch for me that will agree with me as far as if a consultation lasts longer than 15 minutes, neither one of us, the guest nor myself as an artist will be happy. And I believe that that's the main thing we wanna do. When someone leaves our salon and they're like, oh my God, I feel so amazing, I feel 10 years younger. It's not really the money as much, it's mostly that feeling that I get when we do someone's hair and they run away with that feeling. Let me see, Olaplex classroom updates. That's what we love about it so much. Hey, Malia, how are you? All right, so let's get to it. Let me start putting my Olaplex in, and then we wanna run this section. I've already squeezed it off. Again, inside the foils is 1 16th that you'll add to every two ounces, one to two ounces. I believe mixing ratio is a, a question for a few I've had before, but I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you Google Olaplex mixing ratio, a little card comes up, it's a little cheat sheet. And if you save that to your phone, you'll never have a problem with wondering which ratio I'm supposed to use, which one I'm not. And so I've got my foils already ready. I've got seven so that you know I don't cheat. And then we're gonna run right across this part. Ready? We're gonna go here in the front. We're gonna leave about a quarter inch section out. And I'm going to go right behind that and create my first actual foil line. You got such baby hairs, Emma. And with that, I don't want to, I want to slice it. I don't want to do like a peppered technique where I'm feathering it back or thinning those pieces out. We're just going to go right in and get right to it. Leaving some of the hair out because it's porous and it's already there. We're just retouching this highlight. Please admins and everybody fill in the blanks that I can't see so far. Let me see if I can pull you a little closer. Hey, Anne Marie, how are you? I'm so excited. So look, right here is where we're gonna try to go. Lean down like this. So if you guys can see this taper foil right here, I'm going from the other corner of it and I'm just taking it directly diagonal back. This is on my nerves. We're gonna take it a little wider, lean back. And we're gonna go from that corner directly over at a diagonal. And as we take that corner, my sections are looking sloppy for doing this four part. We're gonna go right on the corner of that piece and we're just gonna blend it corner to corner. I don't know if you guys do this, but you're feathering a foil. Lean back just a little so I can show them we're going right on that corner. Leaving a mild diagonal in between. You'll see about a half an inch of hair where this will kind of create some more dimension beyond that. So you're not ending up with 
a serious brick lay of foils or anything like that. I know this is left out, but as we hit this corner, we're gonna take it from the opposite end, no different. I think all the clips are on my nerves. We're gonna go from this corner to this corner, and I'm gonna show you guys really hard to uh, see what I'm doing right here, especially with ratty foils right now, ratty. We're gonna go corner to corner with foil number three. And it really is a simple technique. I know it seems so like, oh, I've done this before. But if you're taking corner to corner, you're covering a spark, you're covering a huge spectrum of color with just a little minimal amount of foiling. And so for my girls that are, and guys that aren't as fast as they normally would be, this is a great little technique to get you where you need to be. So I'm on one zag here, now I'm here. So I'm gonna take the opposite corner on this end as well. Till back, hopefully everybody can see me. Sherry Jones. And we're just going right behind it and going straight over at a diagonal. Leaving no hair in between from my corner to corner. That way when those meet, there's no cross-hatched look or any type of calico cat experience. You know all that. Going right in, same difference. Corner to corner, can you look down and show? Corner to corner. The reason I do this is a lot of times you run into a lot of people who are scared to get color or have had a bad experience before. And so in this particular, I don't have to go through a full color service with them till back, please, thank you. All I have to do is say, hey, let's just add a little dimension on top and let's go there with it. It's great for people who have dark hair color and they just want a little kiss of highlight or their last stylist used to give them a little, you know, a gloss of some sort on top that kind of broke it up and made it look a little more dimensional. But I want you guys to see how far back I'm at on this particular as I go, again, opposite corner to opposite corner. No different. Hopefully there's some people filling in things. I do wanna say this, I am fresh off of the Premier Orlando hair show. If you guys have not gone to a hair show in a while, you should. It is an amazing experience. It's better than it was before, I believe. I had one of the best shows I've ever had in Orlando. Who here's been to a show? Hey, Leslie. No one? No hands up for a hair show? Get this in here, and then we're gonna kinda try to pull over and show you guys. I'm only two foils left and I've covered so much ground across our part line. Look, we're coming this way now. Look down, I know it looks like a mess, but we're gonna go this corner now to this corner. And so hopefully you'll see this as well. About a half an inch when it comes to the, the bottom crest right here, but we're taking nothing in between and we're going right behind it at a diagonal and just filling in that area. Look it up, please. Thank you. We're on the last foil here in this section. After this one. The reason I mentioned a lot of chain salons, I don't think everybody individually leases. I don't think everybody individually uh, you know, owns the salon, and a lot of times we are on a timer. I worked for a chain salon for many years. Last foil, here we go. And we're just gonna go back again, corner to corner. Keeping the same width on each side where they meet. 
We're just gonna take one more and put it right here. And I want to show you guys just kind of the pattern that it lays with. Lean back. Right now it looks like organized chaos in my teenager's hair. But let me see if I can show you corner to corner. Our first corner peaked right here where you can see. My second corner, although folded, peaked right here on this one. Same amount of sectioning behind it. My third, fourth corner, excuse me is right here touching. My fifth comes out in the exact same, as well as my sixth. <clears throat> Let's spin it around. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Hey Priscilla, yes please share the results on Olaplex Classroom. Because I've got a limited amount of time for her to process, blow dry, do all the things, I won't be 100% showing the results at the end of this live video. But in the comments section, as well as Olaplex Classroom and the Olaplex Users Group, I'll be posting all of my results from her hair. I do want to show you, because I have time now and we can still chit chat and talk, but I do want to show you the section in the back now. So we're going to remove some of this out of my way. My least favorite part of my job. All right, so those are tucked in, they're safe. We're just gonna keep them up and out of the way. Just right here. All right. Now, the sectioning is no different. Yeah, I'm so glad shows are coming back too, Jennifer, for sure. All right. So the sectioning is gonna be no different in the back. I'm gonna go the middle of the ear as far as I can with a clean diagonal part with enough weight behind it on both sides that I won't have any issue with overlapping or anything like that. Let's move this. Can you guys all see that? Hey, Dale. <clears throat> yeah, I'm super excited about the hair show game starting back up. Hey, April. <clears throat> So, let's pull seven more. The reason I use this technique in the back is because a lot of kids nowadays, they're not allowed to have more than 10% color, 20% color at their schools. Five, six, seven. They're not allowed to have more than 10 to 20%. And this is a cute way to kind of give a kid that wanted some type of pop color or anything like that, give them an amazing little kiss of color that they are proud of and happy with, and also like not violating the rules of their school. And so we're just gonna go with a little clean spot right here. On a diagonal, no different. Take this porous piece out. I just wanted to show you guys this quick thing. And I'm so excited that hopefully someone can take this and they can make some extra money with it. They can incorporate it into their repertoire. They can make this a part of what they do on the daily instead of just being stuck with the lady that comes in. She's like, I just want a haircut. I thought about color. Be sure you get all the technique questions, technical questions, absolutely. And I will answer everything towards the end as well. Just wanna write up, show your favorite, share your favorite hair show in the comments, let's go. So the technique is about an eighth of an inch in. And if there's any technical questions, I will answer them or have somebody in there that will. Keep these a little wider so you guys can see them, just how they feather in. Jennifer, what did you say? Great low maintenance for summer too? Absolutely. So we're on the corner to corner routine. 
I feel like because I'm leaning this way, I'm going to go back behind it and come here. And look at how much ground you can cover in a highlight that still has a kiss of a highlight with it. There we go. And we're going to take just corner at a diagonal up. Let's see. Absolutely. Hey, Amy, how are you? What's you guys' favorite service to perform with Olaplex? I feel like highlighting is my gig. Like, I love it. I love blonding. I love the experience of it. I love when you take them back to the shampoo bowl and it's still kind of wet. They can't see all of it. And then when, they blow, when you blow dry and style it out, they're just in love with how light you got them, how amazing the color looks. It's just a huge gig in my world over here. All right, let's check back. My fave is balayage all day. I love balayage. I just believe it's been told that it's for everyone. And I don't believe it's for everyone. <clears throat> I also am a firm believer in great integrity of the hair. And a lot of times I see uh, in the balayage game, there's a lot of tattered swelling that happens. The ratio's off. A lot of those things can be different. And uh, so if the starting point or your attack level that you go into the hair and what you decide is your plan of action, if it is a level three and four or even five sometimes, I choose not to do open air oxidation. What I do is I'll take a foil, I'll feather it in just like I would a painted balayage inside, but I'm tapping two foils together so that we don't have any bleed swell beyond that. That way I'm not fishing in with like a level seven at the base and kind of cheating out my work. And so for me, I'm foils all the way. I believe you should put a thousand in each head, but that's me personally. So we're all the way over here and my section can ride all the way over here. And the reason that I pulled this is I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do a lot of horizontal foiling for retouches. And so even if it's something like this where she's porous towards the ends and I don't want to uh, attack any of that with my lightener, if I'm just retouching a base, I can easily Take this joint, give it a half a fold, get it ready as so that when I take this wide section that kind of goes corner to corner, one more try, there she is. See, I've got a lot of blonde already in here throughout. What this is going to do is allow me just to touch these bases and these roots or new growth, excuse me. In Texas, we say root. But you can even look, if it goes even further out, you can bend your foil to get coverage for those. I don't know who else uses horizontal foils. I definitely do though. There she is. Or if foiling is not 100% your thing, you can easily hit them with one, two, three, maybe four. And this will also give a little grown out look throughout these areas. Spin you so I can see more of the angle for them. Hopefully, I'm trying to cram everything in at one deal. Foil all the way. See, I love my people. There they are. We're just feathering in over that back comb just to make sure everything's got a great blend on. Technical questions. Anyone technical questions. She said it's so good. Tuck. Turn. Okay, 
So we're gonna take a whole other section down because we're actually only three foils deep. What a mess. I think next time I'm gonna pick someone with less hair. <laughs> Same thing, just continuing up, getting everything out of my way. I learned highlights with foils, so it's hard to give them up. I agree. Uh, in hair school, I was taking way too thick of sections, and uh, my instructor, you know, let me know, like, less is more, Brandon. So 10 more foils with half of the hair in it, and you'll have an amazing result as opposed to the way it was before where I would have a big, huge band of problematic stuff. Let's move this out of the way. Let me get right here. It's some beautiful hair. Thank you. Did you hear that? My daughter will be so happy and pleased. Oh, did I intro? This is my daughter. Yeah, I intro that. For sure. I did not tell everyone. Well, this is my teenage daughter. I think by, before I do hair, I'm a dad and a husband first. I don't think they look at me as the stylist like you guys look at me for sure. But we're again going corner to corner. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is I want you to understand that when I do these small section foils, like I do, if I have someone that's like, you know what? Next time I want more. Next time I want this. This is a huge, huge ticket builder as well as you have the ability to control what you're doing. If they just want a kiss of blonde around the face, this is a way you can, oh, well, I've got a seven foil highlight that's just around the front and the fringe, just kind of brighten up your face. And I think that's something that is not approached by hairstylists. They're like, oh, what do you want? A partial, a full foil? Okay, well that's 50 to 100 foils. It ends up being $245 once you run all the products with it and all the things. And some people leave there going, well, did I really, did I just pay $250 to kind of look the same or to be so blonde I, uh, I don't recognize myself? And so I think that's a huge gig and a huge part of it uh, for me <clears throat> is tailoring what I do to the guest needs. Not everybody's gonna be my teenage daughter, right? That's gonna, you know, just sit in the chair and say, oh, dad, I wanna be blonde or whatever. There's a ton of people. Oh, my sectioning today is terrible. <clears throat> but there's a ton of people who don't even, uh, you know, don't even know that you offer something a little less expensive than your full photo highlight for 250 to 275. Yeah, we're still hitting. Same difference, corner to corner, no different in the back. I'm just covering ground. Some people like to brick lay. I don't like to brick lay. I, got, I like to go corner to corner. It covers more ground. I believe the brick lay can create almost like a uh, tattered pattern or a, a checkered pattern sometimes. And so that's one thing that I stay away from unless the, uh, the service calls for it. I just believe that not everybody's made of money, right? I'm in Dallas, Texas. So my price point uh, for hair is gonna be, I don't, I, I do cut and color starts average price around 175. And that's an intro rate. That's where um, I would say a mid range kind of uh, <clears throat> pricing for my area. I also price accordingly for products so that if someone is coming into my salon, they're like, oh, I want a full foil highlight. And they're like, what, you know, what's that entail? And I always explain to them what comes with a complete Olaplex top to bottom service. So that's a little bit why, that's a difference between me and your last stylist. I also uh, remove all the minerals with Malibu C's crystal gel before every single guest. If this wasn't my daughter that receives crystal gel and uses my products at home, it would be a scenario where you would see me demineralize her with a treatment for about 40 to 45 minutes beforehand, before lightening. So uh, you're a great dad and how much you, oh, Donna, you're so sweet. Can't throw me off, I'll start crying, you know. Um, <clears throat> again, we're two foils away and we've covered 30 to 40% of the hair with some sort of blonde to disperse that light throughout. And it's gonna be an even really cute kind of look because we're covering the same tracks 
as we would anywhere else. And now we're almost to a connecting point. And so I've just almost done 50% of the hair in a matter of 30 minutes uh, while talking and stopping, obviously. But in a matter of 30 to 35 minutes, I have covered 50% or more of the hair with some sort of blonding, with some sort of highlight or dimensional color change. I think that's why it's the most beneficial for me and my girls here. I've started several new girls that have before struggled with color. They've been, uh, you know, they weren't taught properly. There's a ton of reasons that people, what's the treatment that you use? <clears throat> There's a ton of reasons that people are scared of color. I believe Olaplex is a great <clears throat> beneficiary for a stylist because if your knowledge isn't 100% or your eye can't look at a blonde and go, oh, that's done. As an intro, Olaplex is a lifesaver. It's, I create insurance is what I tell people. It's insurance for me. Nicole, the product that I would, the treatment that I would use is from Malibu C. It's a crystal gel treatment. And uh, what it is, is in a short form, it magnetically removes the uh, minerals with vitamin C. And so the truth is, is that if you're a colorist and you've never used a Malibu C product or you've never removed the minerals of the hair beforehand, um, what it's going to do <clears throat> is it's going to give you an even clean palette to paint your lightener on. And the best way I can describe it is, is that if you were to paint on a white blank canvas, you would get all the pigment, everything that you needed all the way in there. But we're not painting on canvas. We're painting on things with pockets in them and minerals that have attached and been, you know, been stuck on there for years. And so when you're putting your lighter on the head, you're pushing through all those minerals. So a crystal gel treatment is always recommended for sure. Crystal gel, Olaplex, I will not do a client without both of those, period. Last one, and we are right here in my back. I hope you can see how I have tilted like this, Emma. How you guys can see how this brick or this zigzag pattern has come together. We are in one section where my section and my section will now connect. <clears throat> I gotta reflip my foil though. But I'm hoping that everybody that sees this can understand that it took me 20 minutes, 30 minutes to cover this much of the hair as it's not even, it's arguing with me right now. No different. Here I am in my back. You can see how these two foils are about a half inch to an inch apart. This is going to give me a crest right here. And we are gonna go right across that line, connect those two pieces ASAP. And we're just gonna lay a foil in between, no different. But with something like this, the average stylist would have put a hundred foils from here to there, and the customer goes, oh wow, I'm super blonde now. And if that's not what they wanted, and they just wanted a, a whisper, and I'll tell you what I mean by a whisper. All right, Em, you can lean back now. Oh, so much better, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the reason I ask uh, if you want to be blonde, blonde, or you want to be anything different, we're going to let her process and I can chit chat now. <clears throat> so not everybody wants to be platinum. Not everyone wants to have the blondest blonde possible or every other strand be blonde. In reality, this is something that is an intro to people who have never experienced a highlight. You can do it with color as well. So after you've, say you've got virgin hair level five and they just want like a little kiss of a number seven or something to break up their natural, this is something you can do. This technique, lean back for me just a little, has used 14 foils to connect the entire front and the entire back. Now, is she going to be platinum throughout? Absolutely not, but that's not the goal we're looking for. None of that is. In this reality, we're just trying to get some more dimension Maybe take some of the blonde she's already got, get it a little boost, give it a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, uh, you know, you're not using this technique incorrectly. By that I mean you're not putting seven foils right here. Do you know what I mean? Like a halo of foils. But what it is great for is there's a lot of new trends where you're seeing just a hunk of blonde like right here in the back, maybe offset with this quadrant over here to the left. Uh, this is a great way to create that pattern and show more blonde with less 
product, foil, and all the things. What am I time at? We're getting there. We're so set happy. We want to support all your salon needs. Absolutely. Cosmoprof, top tier in my book. I love every one of the Cosmoprof shows. I love my distributors down the street. I have an Armstrong McCall five minutes from my salon. And if I need anything, they are at my beck and call. They are amazing, amazing support system. Uh, let's see. Let me check my notes. So we covered bursts of color. Great for panel work. I'm telling you, this is like the number one thing in my salon for summer is out. I mean, summer is in now. School's out. We're ready to start putting color in teenagers. We're ready to start having those 11 and 12 year olds come in. They're like, my mom said I could get blue and they have jet black hair or dark brown hair. This is going to be something that you can cover a lot of ground, give them a little bit of purple, a little blue, whatever they want, lightening them and not overpowering the remainder of their hair. Because how many uh, people have put blue on their, you know, one of their kids that they do inside the salon and then three weeks later, their mom's like, well, uh, it's too blue. Or, you know, you just have so many things that you're like, I don't want the whole bottom blue. I just want a little bit. <clears throat> and it's great for, uh, I don't know if you have older guests, but I got a lot of older ladies that are coming in to get a little purple in the bang and things like that. You should price accordingly. If you hit someone with a full foil right off the bat, you're going to end up with not, the, uh, not as much of a retention rate. We know that if you just come in and get a haircut, I mean, these numbers hold true. Just like I said earlier about a 15 minute consultation. If the 15 minute, if it passes that, quit. Send the guest out your door. You're not the stylist for them and they're not the guest for you. Uh, I hold by that 100%. As well as <clears throat> not overloading people and not uh, overwhelming them with their ticket. Getting a ticket they expected to pay 200 bucks and it's now got increased to four to $450. Communication is huge on that. And uh, it's a big part of me. <clears throat> but having something in your repertoire where you're like, well, I don't want to do a partial. I don't want to do a full. This is uh, amazing for you to go, well, here's what we can do. We can do a little kiss of dimension. We can do a little seven foils, foils or less. It's about 50 to 60 bucks. It's uh, or average in my old salon, it was about $10 a foil. So 70 bucks if they got something like that or even lower depending upon your ticket average. But for any stylist who's struggling with color, for anyone that's uh, scared to ask for a $150 to $300 highlight, this is a great intro on both sides, stylist as well as guest. If my guest came in the same, like I said earlier, and they were like, I've got dark hair, my girl's been doing my hair for 10 years, level four, well, hey, have you ever thought about getting a little highlight, a little dimensional change? And if you come at them with $180, they're like, oh no, I can't do that. But if you come at them with, hey, I've got one for like 75 with your cut, it'll take maybe 30 minutes, we'll get you in and out of here and it'll look amazing. That sales point and that marketing strategy works, I promise you. I have built a business in a separate city twice from the ground up. Uh, I'm super comfortable with my uh, salon ownership. I don't have any issues and I attribute it to Olaplex, Malibu C, especially Olaplex on keeping my integrity of the hair that I'm, I'm doing. <clears throat> and uh, it's a huge part of me. I don't know if you guys have gotten this yet, this is a lifesaver. I have, if I use a crystal gel treatment before and I blonde them after the minerals are removed, I don't need a toner. 4P is strong enough and it's amazing. Thank you, a big thank you to Brandon Johnson.